Happy Sabbath. Happy day. I welcome you all to uh, this Sabbath Health Nugget and also to our online viewers. Um, I hope wherever you are, you'll be able to follow us. Uh, before we begin, let us have a word of prayer. Lord God, in the silence of this moment, we are gathered before thy presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we praise you, we worship you because you're worthy of our praise. Even as we have a conversation about matters health, we pray that you abide with us now until the end is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, we are having a season right now of corona, and I believe that uh, many children may be having the name corona onyango, corona njeri, or corona so and so, because it has been with us for almost two, two years, right? Um, and in the medical field, um, we say that the best person who can share an experience or can be a trainer for matters health is a person who has gone through the disease itself because they have a perspective that is beyond the textbook. So um, late last year, just uh, before the turn of the year, I was down with corona. And um, I, the feeling was very strange. And therefore, I want us to share time today to just have a conversation about what is it like going through corona. So I thought to myself, who else do I know who has uh, uh, been visited by corona? And I was blessed to have my brother Amos and my brother Zef, who will help us have this conversation. So, um, my wife works at the hospital, and it was a blessing that all this time, until late last year, she never came down with corona. And therefore, towards the second last week of December, she got infected, and a few days after that, I also, you know, uh, got infected. And the feeling was very strange. Um, <clears throat> There was this incessant fever that we could not, I could not explain. And you have this kind of headache that you cannot explain. And so when I spoke with Zef at some point, he, he sort of had a similar experience. Zef, what, what, what's this strangeness about the fever of corona that... Um, how can you explain it? Can you share your experience? How did you feel having this fever of corona? Uh, Zef's mic is off. Yeah, while they fix it. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have it. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, happy Sabbath. Uh, on the eve, I think for mine was on a Thursday a night before I experienced the fever itself. Uh, I had taken supper and as usual I don't ask for a drink after I may only drink water before sleeping but this day I asked to be made for some uh, uh, hot drink yeah. which I took and I immediately said oh, I'm, I'm going to sleep and the midst of time I went after about two hours I would not sleep again I was struggling uh, there was a serious headache and I was seriously uh, sweating up to, that was from about 11 to 3 in the morning. Then at 3.30, I, I woke my wife and told her, Jaber, can you touch me? What do you feel? And she says, you are very hot. You must be having fever. I stayed there for a while, but I couldn't sleep. I told her, let us just pray or pray for me. Then you go back and sleep. I didn't want to disturb her father. Then in the, the course of time I left, I went to another room in the house, which was a bit circulated, and then from there I took another three to four hours before I slept. Yes. Then I had not realized what was happening, yes. but I was, let me just say, from where I was sleeping, it was very watery. Yes. I was seriously hot. In fact, I would boil some water. So hot and drenching. <laughs> yes. Right. 
malaria. Does it feel like malaria, Amos? Did you have an experience of malaria, t like symptoms when you came down with COVID? Uh, thank you, Malda, and happy Sabbath to everyone. Uh, for me, uh, just to answer that question appropriately, uh, many years ago, while I was still a young man, I suffered malaria. And throughout the course of my life, that's the only one time I've ever been admitted in hospital. So when you ask me whether I felt or it felt like malaria, uh, to some extent, yes, it did. Because uh, when you have malaria, and I suffered malaria while I was still living at the coast. So uh, down there, malaria is quite heavy. So I had, uh, you know, the fever, my joints were paining, yes. and uh, some level of headache. Yes. So on a fair note, yes, there are symptoms that are similar uh, when you look at uh, uh, COVID yes. and uh, when you compare it with malaria, yes. Right. When COVID came, it was, cough was a very pronounced symptom. And um, everybody sort of thought that unless you are coughing, you most likely do not have corona. How pronounced was cough in your episode of, 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 of corona, I mean COVID infection? I think uh, for my case, I, I didn't see the cough at first. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, that was on a Thursday and on Sabbath, I even came to church. Yes. But while I was here, I started feeling some pain on the throat. So, I, in fact, it was you I was looking for to ask. Now, I have this feeling. What do you think? So, yes. for, for me at first, there was no cough. Yes. Uh, but later on, I felt the cough. In fact, after the Sabbath evening, yes. there was that mild cough. It came, yes. but with a sore throat. Yes. But it didn't last long, though. The similar, I had the similar experience. I didn't have cough. I just had an irritation of my throat and then um, three, about three or four days later it became, I had this husky um, sort of like cough that you just want to clear your throat but not active cough. Um, Amos, was yours any different? Almost similar, mm. uh, almost similar. I also did not have much of a cough but the huskiness was there yes. and uh, I mean I want to confess that throughout my experience around that time, I contacted uh, uh, Dr. Harry quite often, he's my neighbor, so we engaged much, and uh, mine came with a very serious sore throat, in that for like three days, three nights, I could not eat, I could not even swallow saliva, so that was the, the cough, the cough wasn't there, yes. but it was severe sore throat and you know, pain pain of the throat, yes. What did you do to relieve your symptoms? Uh, at first, uh, we behave uh, ignorantly sometimes. <laughs> I, uh, that day, the first thing I did was to look for a serious uh, painkiller yes. so that I would be relieved that day. And uh, they say, Maumivu Yakizidi. Mwone daktari. Uh -huh. So I, decide, I decided that day, I told my wife, today I want you to take me to the hospital. <laughs> so we went to uh, the hospital where I knew they would do some uh, COVID tests. Right. And uh, uh, from first before I even went for the tests yes. itself, yes. I was talking to the doctor there and he says, you know, this one will automatically react. Yeah. <laughs> so I have done this for him because I think it was just in the season when it was uh, this last uh, bit of the wave was coming in. Right. Uh, he had done so. So when I went in for tests right. and confirming so, he yeah. gave me the drugs. Right, right. And so you were able to take uh, both prescription drugs? Yes. Right. Yes. Amos, natural remedies, did you use any of that? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I took some concussion. Uh, this wasn't the first time I was taking. I regularly take uh, concussion, hot, uh, ginger yes. and lemon and turmeric, always uh, boiled. Uh, you know, I take it when hot. I mean, I do that regularly. But during this time, I did take much of it. But even besides that, 
I also uh, did uh, steaming, uh, which uh, gave me quite relief in terms of, uh, you know, just giving me the clearness of my airway. Yes. That really helped me. Yes. I did the steaming as well, and I concur, it really gave me relief. I don't know if you know how to do the steaming. Um, you boil water, you know, boil it and boil it over, and you take eucalyptus or onions or, you know, um, turmeric and eucalyptus leaves and put it in there. And you take the heaviest of blankets that you can get, yeah? And you cover yourself and you open the steam and inhale that hot steam. Um, Zef, did that work for you? Personally, I didn't add those. Yes. I think after the Sabbath evening, yes. you told me about the steaming. Yeah. And, my, and, and uh, my wife is a simple medical missionary. Yes. She told me today I want to treat you like the rest. <laughs> yes. So she did the, the boiling yeah. and dipped my legs in that water. Mm. For a very good time, I was done for, uh, they, say, they call it uh, hot foot bath, others call it uh, hydrotherapy. Mm. So she did that for me, and I think that night I really had a good sleep, but afterwards yes. we went to the hospital because I saw after a short while, right. two or three days later, she was also ill of the same. Right. Yeah, so brothers and sisters, I think we are sharing with you the fact that the presentation of COVID, especially the Omicron variant that we are seeing today, is atypical, is not the standard um, one that we were seeing with the novel virus when it began. So if you have malaria-like symptoms, you have this incessant headache that just can't go away, you have this fever that is drenching, and you have you know, joint pains and, and, and feeling body weakness that you cannot explain, you probably have been infected and you just need to get uh, tested and you can get the treatment that you, you need. And just to let you know that, you know, this is here with us. We stood here so that we can let you know that it is amongst us. And if you are able to connect with a brother and a sister, you should be able to have the information that you need to see you through that episode of, of COVID. And I hope that this will be a blessing to somebody who's listening to our voices. Uh, Elder Amos, do you want to pray for us? Uh, let us pray. Loving Master and God who lives on high, we come before you once again this morning just to thank you lord for you have granted us life even unto this moment we want to thank you for the opportunity that you've given us oh lord to go through life issues oh jehovah father and even to share oh jehovah with your children that they too may learn one thing or the other from our experiences how we pray lord that father you may grant us protection in this life even as we grow through the challenges uh, of the pandemic that is with us, O oh Lord, we pray that we will seek to look up to you, O oh Father, to honor your name in the things that we do, in how we carry ourselves, O oh Lord, that, Father, we may be a light unto those who do not know you, Father. Grant us your will this day, O oh Lord, even as we move forth. Remember them that are sick in hospitals, in homes, that you may stretch forth your mighty hand to touch them. May your will be done in our lives now and forever. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.